And here I am. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your buddy Jake Dominguez back with another movie review. I'm so excited to film this review, guys, because I just saw one of my most anticipated movies of the year, Baby Driver, written and directed by the one, the only, the legend, Edgar Wright. Let's talk about it. So Baby Driver tells the story of a getaway driver named Baby. Simple as that. And he basically works for this one guy, played by Kevin Spacey, who's like this big-time criminal of some sort. And he basically works as the getaway, getaway driver for get Kevin Spacey's character. And they do all these bank robberies and other robberies and all sorts of stuff. But when Baby meets a certain girl in, like, this, you know, this diner, basically, one night or whatever, or one day, is it a night or a day in the movie? Okay, none of this matters. Let's get back to the review. <laughs> I think it's day. When he meets a certain beautiful girl at a diner, he starts to think that he wants to redeem himself and get out of the life of a getaway driver that he has. And that is where our plot kicks in. Guys, let me tell you. The hardest part of doing one of these movie reviews is explaining the plot. Sometimes I feel like I don't do it justice, and let's face it, sometimes the simple synopsis of a film, especially when I tell it, and that's what I'm afraid when I'm explaining a synopsis to you guys, sometimes it barely does justice for a great movie. And that's all I can tell you for now. You can just watch the trailers, look at IMDb, they'll look at a basic synopsis for whatever it is, but... And maybe just to give my to beat myself up just a little less and to give myself some credit, a truly great movie goes beyond just a simple synopsis. The synopsis is the basic hook or whatever, but a great movie always has much more to it. And just to get that out of the way, man, this is a great movie. This is an excellent movie. This movie is a blast. From beginning to end, I saw it the Friday after it came out last weekend, I guess it was. And I gotta say, I've wanted to see it again ever since. Let's talk about Edgar Wright. He's the writer and director of this film. And oh my gosh, Edgar Wright is the man. For those who don't know his work, he's best known for this films like Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, The World's End, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. And what else has he done? He's done an excellent TV show called Space. He's done some music videos. He is a great filmmaker. Look at that filmography. Shaun of the Dead is one of the best movies ever made. It's one of the best zombie movies ever made. It's one of the best just satires ever made. It's one of the best comedies ever made. All three of those things combined to make just a truly great movie. I can watch Shaun of the Dead anytime, and it gets funnier every time I see it. And scarier, for that matter. Hot Fuzz is one of the best action comedies ever made. It's hilarious. And I gotta be honest, I haven't seen The World's End. I know. I know. I have no excuse. It is, uh, it is in my top three of movies I need to see. I don't know why, I just, I just never got around to seeing that one, and I'm embarrassed to say that. I'm going to see it soon. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I saw that film opening weekend, and that is one of the very few movies, like one of two movies, that I've seen more than once in a day. I saw that movie that morning. I went to go see it with my little brother again that evening. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is such a great film. So much fun. It's just fantastic. And... This movie is just as great as all those other movies. Edgar Wright also made Spaced. I made that. I mentioned that a little while ago, but that's a show that he made with Simon Pegg. Ugh, I forget the actress's name now who helped write it, but uh, it's such a great show. Such a great comedy. I think it's like 20-something episodes long. Ugh, I don't know. I have to check again. That might be. It's probably wrong. But go check out Spaced. I watched it. Actually, I rented it from Netflix after I saw Scott Pilgrim vs. the World many years ago. It's been a while since I've watched the show, to be fair. But it was such a great show. Really fun. You can see why people saw the whole show of Space and hired him to eventually do Shaun of the Dead, which started off his film career. Great show. Check it out. And the guy is so talented. Edgar Wright is one of those directors that when you see one of his movies, one of his TV shows, or even a few of his music videos that you've done, that he's done, excuse me, you know that it's Edgar Wright. 
his style of editing, directing, his humor, his knowledge of film history, all comes together, and you know that hits his movie. If I didn't know Baby Driver was made by Edgar Wright, I would have, I would have figured it out within the first sh scene, the first few shots. He has such an identifiable style, and he's so freaking talented that you just automatically know his work. And Baby Driver is among one of his best films. Now, the hard thing about talking about Baby Driver is, again, only seen it once. And Edgar Wright is one of those filmmakers where every one of his movies gets better every time you see it. I really liked Shaun of the Dead the first time I saw it. But his movies, especially something like Shaun of the Dead, which is like a masterpiece, every single time you see it, you notice things you've never seen before. You think of themes and details and notice jokes that you've never seen before. That is why one of the reasons why his movies are so great. I liked Shaun of the Dead when I first saw it. I kept watching it. I started loving it more and more. It genuinely gets better every time you see it. And it's the same with all of his films. Hot Fuzz, same thing. I had to watch that movie almost immediately after I saw it for the first time. Just because, not only because I knew it was great, but just because I needed to full, full, notice the full experience again. And I didn't even get a full experience from watching it immediately after. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, again, saw it two times in one day just because, oh, there's so much stuff to notice. His movies are just insanely rewatchable. They're so well made. There's always so many things to notice over and over and over again. His films are very dense with details and stuff and all sorts of things that are just so fun to rewatch. And it's the same with Baby Driver. I could already tell. It's hard for me to talk about this movie because I feel like I need to watch it so many more times to really appreciate it for what it is. This could be like Shaun of the Dead, where it's like, oh, it's a great movie, but once I see it a few more times, it's like, this movie is a masterpiece, you know? Baby Driver could really be like that. But for now, I can just say that Baby Driver is a very unique movie. This is a film about music. The basic synopsis, if I were to describe that to you, you may not notice it in that synopsis. But again, it's more to it. Baby in this movie has like a, that ear condition thing where he hears ringing all the time and that sort of thing. And he, the way he handles this is that he carries around his iPod and listens to music all the time. And it's the music that makes him such a great getaway driver. You have to see the movie for it to really get pulled together. I can't do it justice by just talking about it. Again, like all great films. But music is kind of a main character in this movie. The way Baby uses music to do everything he does in his life, it's his way of communicating it. It's his way of just doing all these racing, that he, not really racing, but getaway driving that he has to do. Music is a main character in this film. Edgar Wright uses all sorts of songs and stuff that you wouldn't necessarily think of imagining in a movie like this. But he uses it and it works great. There's a really awesome use of a song by the John Spencer Blues Explosion. I'll just say that, and it really made my made me smile because Edgar Wright, I know he's a big fan of that band, and it was so great. All the music in this film is expertly done and expertly cut and with this film. This is basically a musical, but instead of singing, you know, like, like you would in a Broadway play or whatever, they do car chases. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's the best way I have to describe it. There is a lot of, like, Bugsby Berkeley and stuff like that in this film. Only instead of dance move moves, he's using cars and stuff like that and action. It's really, film and music already have so much together in terms of the way you use rhythm and that sort of thing to make a work of art. And Edgar Wright uses it so well here. Oh, I just loved that part of this movie. Edgar Wright also does something else really difficult. He does the impossible in Baby Driver. I, going into this movie, to be honest, I thought it would just be a car chase movie. I thought it would be a getaway car movie. Almost like a Fast and the Furious film or something like that. And it is. There's some awesome car action in this movie. But that's not what this movie's really about. Baby Driver is a noir film. It is a crime film. But it does the impossible. It is a noir film with heart. Doesn't that sound kind of weird? Isn't that... Those two things shouldn't go together. Think of the classic noir films, like the Maltese Falcon and stuff like that. 
imagine watching a film like that, only it has a big, gooey, big heart at the middle of it. Sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't it? Well, Edgar Wright does it. The actors, the filmmakers of this movie do it. This is a legit crime thriller. It is like a thriller. It is a noir film. That is what this is. And it has tension and all of that despair. But at its heart, it has a heart, period. <laughs> this is actually kind of a touching movie. At the end of the film, without spoiling it, I actually felt kind of moved. I'm like, what a great message that is. Basically, it's about a redemption story for Baby. And it works fantastically. And it, that is so hard to do. A noir crime film with heart? How does that work? I don't even know how, it, how he did it. But he did it. Edgar Wright did it with Baby Driver. And it works fantastically well. All the filmmaking in this movie is just outstanding. All the acting is great. What's his name? Ansel Elkhorn? Elkhorn? Ansel Elkhorn? I think that's his name. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. He was in movies like the Divergent films and the Fart in Our Stars, I believe he was in. He is excellent in this film. He has that realism, but also that sort of... Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? That sincerity and that baby has. I don't know, I'm kind of blanking, it's hard to explain, but what he he's great in this film, and it's hands down the best role I've ever seen him in. Jamie Foxx, oh my gosh, he hasn't been this awesome since Django and Django Unchained. He is scary <laughs> and awesome. John Hamm is in the movie, he's fantastic. Kevin Spacey, like, he's always great, and man, is he perfectly cast in this movie. Lily James, she plays the one, the only girl that Baby falls in love with. She is fantastic. She's great. And all the scenes with her and Baby, played by Ansel, whatever his name is. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. If you're on the 1,000th chance you're watching this, I'm sorry I'm getting your name wrong because you're an amazing actor. I'm sorry. The two scenes between them are so great. And the love story is really the heart of the movie. I keep on using that word, heart, but it's true. This movie has a lot of heart. And all their scenes were really, really sweet. It's a really touching, sweet romance. And the romance is really the main core of this story. It's why everything happens. And I guess to be fair, I mean, if I have one real criticism of Baby Driver, it's that maybe, I don't know, it's so nitpicky, but I guess I would have liked to have seen a bit more substance, for lack of a better word, whatever that means, in the romance. You know what I mean? Like, it all happens very fast, and even though it's really cute, and it's really sweet, and it works, I guess I would have liked a bit more something there. It does feel like kind of a movie romance. It feels like a Disney kind of princess romance. You know what I mean? Like that? You know when you watch a classic Disney movie, and the prince and the princess meet, they sing a song... They're in love now, and they're going to get married, and that's the that's the basis of the relationship that we see in the movie. It's not that bad, but it's a kind of similar to that. It's kind of a Disney, I would compare it to like a Disney princess romance, which is very ironic considering Lily James also played Cinderella, fantastically played Cinderella in the remake, made in like 2015 or whenever that was, or 2014. So that's kind of interesting. Maybe I'm looking too much into it. I wonder if that was a reason Edgar Wright casted her. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Kind of a weird coincidence, isn't it? And again, that's really nitpicky. It works fine in the movie, but I guess if I have one little nitpick, that would be my main thing. But for what it is, it is really cute. It is really sweet, and it works in the film. <sighs> the filmmaking in this movie is so great, and I could go on and on. And really, I feel like I should because I need to see this movie many more times in order to fully review it. But Baby Driver is such a great film. It's such a special movie. It's such a unique film. And it's an original film. This isn't based on a comic book or anything like that. It's just its own thing. Oh, and it works so great. It's so well done. And I couldn't recommend this movie enough. So I'm going to give my rating for Baby Driver, and I'm going to give Baby Driver an A. A solid A. This is a must-see movie, guys. Go check this film out. Hands down, one of the best I've seen all year, and I can't wait to see it again. Well, guys, that's my review of Baby Driver. Go see it. Have you seen this movie? What did you think? Let me know down right there. You see it? 
right there. Let me know right down there in the comments section below. And what is your favorite movie by Edgar Wright? Also let me know that down in the comments section below. Have you not seen any of Edgar Wright's movies? Well, what's wrong with you? Go tell me down there in the comments section below that if you are going to see his movies immediately if you haven't seen them. Because he's amazing and you should see his films. Sound good? Awesome. You guys are the greatest. Thank you so much for watching this video. It means the world to me. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But more importantly than that, never, ever, ever, ever forget, I'm your friend. I'm always going to be there for you. Thank you guys so much for being my friends. You guys are the best, and I'll see you next time.